everybody, if you're wondering how I got this awesome cool nail art, then okay, keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by applying a base coat to all my fingernails, and I'm using one by LA Colors. It's my fave, and yeah. Okay, so for this look, I needed a sheer kind of pinkish color, which I didn't have. So I'm taking a simple colored nail polish in the color Tan Lines 1621, and I'm going to be mixing it with some clear nail polish. I thought of mixing it with white, but then I thought to myself, that will make it more cloudier. So I just kept mixing that simple nail polish with a clear nail polish until I got it to be a sheer cute pink color so if you guys already have a sheer then go ahead and use it I just wanted to show you guys the process of how I made my sheer pink because I don't want you guys in the comment section saying what kind of nail polish did I use so I'm just showing you guys how I did it and the process of me doing it if your color keeps messing up just keep adding clear just keep adding clear till you get it right Okay, throughout this video, I didn't notice that my hand wasn't showing in the video, but I was just polishing my thumbnail, and throughout the video, you will notice, like, I didn't even notice that my hand was, wasn't under the camera. Okay, so with your shared color, just apply it to all of your nails. This is a very fast process, um... Like I said, I didn't notice my hand wasn't under the camera. You guys should know how to paint your nails already. But I just wanted to show you guys the color that I made with this simple nail polish and clear mixed together. It came out very sheer, very pretty. I liked it. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys how I painted this other hand because I didn't notice my hand wasn't was out of the camera. And towards the end of the video, my camera gets a little shaky. Like, I'm very sorry. It annoyed me too during the editing process. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys how it came out. And they are so gorgeous. I love it. I will wear this, like, without the decorations too. Okay, so now I'm opening up a bobby pin. You guys can use a dotting tool if you want to. I'm just using a bobby pin. Okay, guys, so for this next part, I poured out some white nail polish onto a platter. The same platter that I used to mix together my pink and clear to make a sheer color. And now I'm just applying five dots around into a circle to make that flower-looking shape. Okay, so do you guys see what I mean when I'm saying I'm putting in five dots into a circle to make it look like a flower? So this is very, very easy. Like, this is my first time doing it, and it actually came out very, very well, and it's so cute and easy to do. Okay, so when I was doing this, um, I made some big flowers and some small flowers. You don't want them all the same size. So the more nail polish you put onto your bobby pin or dotting tool um, will tell you the size of like the dots if you get what I mean okay I'm sorry if my audio was getting low and high low and high but it's just very like noisy in my home so I want you guys to be able to hear me okay so now I'm just doing it that same process to all of my other fingers just in case you didn't get like what I was saying earlier so hopefully you guys get the bigger picture like of how I created this design. It was very easy and I love it. I would do this like all the time. Okay, notice I skipped my ring finger. I actually skipped it for a reason. Okay, right now, they kind of look like popcorn. Okay, so this part is optional. You guys can use um, a gold nail polish or uh, um, yellow nail polish. So I'm just taking 
a base coat and applying it all over my nails. And using that same bobby pin that I used to create the flowers, I'm going to be using that to pick up my jewels. And I'm applying those jewels right in the middle of the flower. So this part, like I said, it's optional. You can use um, that same sheer pink and put it right in the middle of your flower if you want to. But I thought this just looked so pretty, so 3D, so cute. So I just went ahead and I applied all those in the middle of every single flower. Okay, so this is cute, easy, simple design. I'm taking what's left on my platter and making little polka dots around the flowers. Just like a cute little polka dotted flower scene. Very cute. When I was applying my jewels, I noticed that they weren't very pretty on the small flowers. So I ran around and I tried to make my flowers appear a bit bigger than they actually were. Um, because the jewels were actually bigger than I thought they were going to be. Okay, so now I'm just applying all these jewels in between every single flower, like I said earlier. So this, again, I'm saying it again, this is optional. I think it's very pretty with the jewels, but if you don't have the jewels, you can just use a yellow nail polish or a yellow paint or something that will make it look like a flower because without the jewel, it looks just like clouds or some popcorn or something in my opinion okay I'm taking that same bobby pin and applying those dots the polka dotted flower little dot things to make my nail more better because it looks blank without it you guys can keep it without it if you like it like that but I liked it with the dots on it okay and notice I skipped that ring finger because I got a plan for it so take some glitter Okay, I'm sorry my angle changed and my lighting changed. So I'm just taking some tape and putting that over my ring finger into one straight line. This is optional. You can do your flower design on this nail if you if you don't like what this is going to look like. Okay, so now I'm taking that yellowish golden glitter and I'm applying that onto the line. And make sure when you're doing this, look, this is what I'm talking about, the shaky stupid camera. Okay, so... A, I'm getting a paintbrush and I'm just dipping that into the glitter and applying it to that line. Just so I can save some of my glitter up because this uses a lot of glitter. Well, this doesn't use a lot of glitter, but like my other designs do. So after I applied the glitter, I did a top coat and then I did another um, like thing of glitter because I was still able to see like that sheer pinkish color underneath the glitter. So I had to add more glitter after. And then make sure your nail is completely dry before removing the tape. Completely. Okay, so I wanted my nail super glittery. So here is my second coat of glitter. Now I'm adding the top coat to seal it in. And it came out so great, guys. Like, I actually love this design, actually. And I just removed the tape after my nail was dry. Remember, guys, your nail has to be dry or else, like, it will pick up the glitter. Um, and now I'm taking a small, skinny brush, paint brush, actually. And I use that white, wet and wild um, nail polish. And I'm just making a line of it. Um, I was going to use my tape, but then again, I was like, what if it picks up my glitter? Oh my gosh, no. So I just freehanded it. You guys can try it if you would like to. I didn't want to try it. So I just did it freehanded because I thought I was going to be able to do a good job. But yeah, it didn't look that bad. Like, just try to make a straight line. Yeah, it didn't look that bad. You guys can leave your nails just like that if you want to, but I decided to add a little triangle there, and this was a straight up fail. Like, it did not want to come off that stupid bobby pin. So, I had to take that one off and get a new one. Um, at the end of this video, it's going to show you some final shoots. And after I got this, the triangle to get on to my nail, um, 
I added some Sally Henson gel over it. And they were so cute. I had to get it in place with like a bottom of a paintbrush. This is way harder than it looks. I wanted to show you guys every snippet of how I did my nails. Like most people will crop it out. But I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. So cute. And now for that Sally Henson gel coat. And now for the final shots. Bye.